Hey guys, uh, in this video I wanted to talk about God's plan and God's will. And I uh, wanted to point out a strange correlation which keeps popping up whenever I think about the idea of God's plan, which is, you know, basically every event, every action, um, everything that happens is orchestrated, controlled, or at least watched over by God. And uh, what I wanted to talk about was the fact that it's it's odd that God's plan, this this divine transcendent uh, reality that must be, you know, because it's God's will, um, is strangely reliant on human innovation and scientific knowledge and what we're able to achieve as a species um, technologically and scientifically. For example, um, God's will. Okay, um, God wills uh, that some people die. It's it's in God's plan that people will die. Um, but, for example, 300 years ago, nobody was killed by a plane or a laser. And I know it sounds ridiculous to just, to just hear that um, straightforward, but the point that I'm trying to make is that is that um, God's will, God's plan, appears to be forced to work within the constraints of what humans have invented or created. Um, and to me, that seems limiting of God's plan. It also seems telling of uh, the nature of God's plan. For example, um, human life expectancy on the planet overall has risen, especially in, in first world countries. Uh, over the past 300 years. Um, apparently that was in God's plan. God's plan was that people would begin to live longer. Now, if science hadn't done anything, if science had just never uh, sort of come into full bloom with, uh, with like, you know, computers, medicine, um, technology, transportation, uh, if these things had never come about, there would be no extended life expectancy. So... I think it's an odd correlation uh, between God's plan and technology in that um, God's plan can only work, so to speak, if uh, science and technology works. Um, for example, um, there are plane crashes. They're, they're, they're not very common. Um, but when people die in plane crashes, it's God's plan supposedly. So, um, isn't it odd that these sort of technological advancements like planes or, or cars, for example, like these, these modern means of transportation are the, are the vehicles of God's plan that they, uh, whatever new technological advances, um, that humans make are then how God enacts his plan. So to me, it, it just seems kind of telling about God's plan that either either it's exactly as um, as humanity uh, progresses in science and, and in technology that that is God's plan, or that there is no plan and it's just science and technology. Now, you can take either side you want there, but um, I, I don't think it's it's uh, that big of a deal to just be like, okay, well, maybe it's just that humans are progressing and, and thanks to, you know, medicines, we were living longer and we invented planes. So people are dying in plane crashes because no technology is perfect. You know, it's, it's, um, it, it takes that extra step to insist that there's got to be this plan behind it if it's just going to happen anyways. Um, also, I wanted to address in this video... Um, that whenever good things happen to people, good things, um, such as maybe finding like a, a $20 bill on the sidewalk in front of a church or something, or, um, or like finding out good news or like, or like expecting it to be uh, a really bad day, but then your day goes great. And, uh, and when this happens to religious people, they often default to this like God thinking state where they're like, thank you God for this wonderful day. Um, and, and e even if the, if the good thing that happens has nothing to do with God or, or any deity, even remotely, uh, they'll thank God. And 
uh, conversely, if their day goes badly, um, there's a sort of coping mechanism that people do where it's like, God really tested me today and, and, uh, b b like, but I worked hard and I, I sort of like made it through the day anyways, or like, or even some people will blame like Satan. It's not as common because people like to blame God for bad stuff too, as a test, but people will be like, oh, Satan, uh, was in those Democrats or something, you know? Um, so what I want to address is the fact that the only cause of this kind of behavior, this kind of attribution of, of normal uh, events, which we take to be good or bad, depending on our, our circumstances, uh, I, I would like to point out that they are uh, solely based on ignorance. Um, and I'll explain this because um, whether or not you think the universe came from the Big Bang, like a singularity, or God created it, whatever, um, it's here. And it operates under certain laws, laws of physics um, and, and, and other constants that, that run the universe as a system. Um, and so ever since the Big Bang, uh, the universe has been controlled by these forces. Um, and so if you could get a, a complex enough simulation, you could run the universe from the Big Bang and it, and it would look just as it does today. Um, I mean, it would have to be incredibly complex, but the point is that there are constants that, that, that uh, operate in the universe that control the outcomes and what happens. So basically, the universe is one really long physics equation that is just, you know, running and running uh, with, with growing numbers of variables and, and uh, entropy and, and uh, those kind of things. But what's important is that um, everything that happens on Earth even the fact that Earth exists is a matter of physics. Um, the fact that the Earth exists where it exists is also a matter of physics. Gravity plays a huge role. Um, quantum mechanics, I'm sure, plays a huge role that, that we don't even see yet. Um, but I think that if, if people were able to somehow take a step back uh, and, and access this... Uh, this understanding of the universe as just operating under physics and, and under uh, universal laws, that they would see, uh, they would begin to notice that the things that they attribute to God or the devil in real life are really just the results of physics operating as they have since the beginning of time. And what I mean by this is um, if, say, maybe you, you uh, were in a car accident last week, but you weren't killed. So you're like, you, you, you thank God that you're alive, right? Um, but if you trace back the cause of the person who ran into you or, or, or why you ran into someone else, and you trace it back as far as you can, you're going to end up at the Big Bang or, you know, singularity, whatever. Um, and so I think that if people could just not be ignorant of the causes and, and, and the underlying systems that operate in daily life. They wouldn't assume the supernatural every time something good or bad happens. Um, let's say in, in the incident of someone, you know, running into you with their car, maybe they didn't get enough sleep because they were up arguing. And the reason they were arguing was because there were, there were chemicals in the brain that were sort of off that day. Um, because of any number of circumstances, like at, at their work or something, or they're sick, or, or they have some, something wrong genetically, and then genetically it was given to them from their parents, and from their parents, and from their parents, and and basically all uh, all events on Earth are are happening because of physics, um, and that sounds ridiculous, but um, life happens because of physics. And, and I know that biology happens, like it, it's, it's, it has its own forces and, and its own um, guiding principles that, that guide biology and, and genetics. But um, everything on Earth follows physics, and it is one big system of, of heat transfer and energy transfer, and in every ecosystem there's energy, energy transfer as well. And so... Um, if we just scale all these things back, all human activity, all life on this planet back to inorganic material, back into stars, back into the Big Bang, um, we'll see that 
all human action, all events that are happening that we would say are good or evil are actually just the, the current uh, representation of the laws of physics acting out as they always have. So um, I don't think we should blame God for anything uh, in, in that sense. I mean, obviously, I don't even think God is real, so um, we, I, I don't think people should attribute good or bad things to God that happen in, in everyday life. Um, because really what it is is just an expression of, of, of the ignorance of the actual cause of what's happening. And, and you can call it luck if you like. It. That doesn't really change anything. It's, it's still the, the reality that things just happen because of physics. Um, but um, yeah, that's what I want to talk about. So.